What's up y'all? I'm Andy. This is EPS Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to make the people's beehive. My childhood best friend gave me some plans, asked if I could make him a beehive. I said, sure, why not? I've been wanting to make a beehive. Well, I took on the challenge and he happens to be turning 40 very soon. So I thought what better gift than just to make this for him and gift it to him, not charge him anything. I'm going to show you how I made it. The plans are fairly detailed. They're vague in some areas. I discussed some of the vague areas and you'll be able to see in the video how I did it. Feel free to make it your own. Do it how you like. I went ahead and stained this one to protect it. I didn't stain the inside of it. Well, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, remember to like, subscribe, ring the bell if you want to see future videos like this and get notifications. And Please comment, tell me how I'm doing, tell me if there's anything I need to change. I'd love to hear your feedback. Enjoy the video. I'll start off by cutting all the fronts and sides of the boxes lengths. And then once I get all those cut, I'm gonna rip them through my table saw to the, the height that they need to be. That's how I'm gonna do it first. I had a resort to using my skill saw because this big box lumber is so crap and case hardened that my table saw was having trouble cutting it, it kept pinching the blade because the, the boards are crap. Big box store, what do, you, what, do you, what do you guess? That and the found out the big box store is not gonna be giving me my veterans discount anymore, Lowe's. So I won't be shopping there anymore. Just a little rant. Anyways, moving on. For the floor piece, calls for a 13 by quarter by 13 and a quarter and I'm going to go ahead and use the last pieces of my lumber and joint the edges and use these for the floor. Try not to use any plywood. I don't like plywood on outdoor projects, peels, water gets in it. Using this 3 8 material I'm going to go ahead and rip the bars down. Next step going to rip these down for the boxes which is eight and nine thirty seconds. I don't know why they didn't 30 seconds. I'm going to make a, a rabbit for the boxes three-eighths high. Just to explain this quick little jig I made. Sorry about the noise. Probably loud. I wanted to put a rabbit on this trying to run it along your fence this way kind of awkward so that's why I made this quick little little jig right here to hold it up against my fence in case you're wondering safety first plans don't call for pocket holes plans actually just call for nails however I'm gonna use pocket holes I feel it'll be a little more secure it also doesn't call for glue but I'm gonna go ahead and use some glue because hey I'm a woodworker why not? And just to clarify, there's nothing wrong with using nails. You could use a box joint, dovetail, you could do a half lap, however you like. I chose pocket holes because they're easy, quick, and they're sturdy, especially with some wood glue added to them. Gluing up my floor pieces, and I went ahead and added a little chamfer to the handles to make it easier to pick up the boxes. Now to cut down those 3 8 inch strips for the bars. These will go on top of each box. Those two boards I jointed together, now it's time to cut them down to size. To make the entrance to the beehive, I took a 45 degree cut on this 2x4 and I used it as a guide for my chisel and my saw. That's how I did it. If you know a better way to do this, please feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to hear. In the drawings, it's not really clear how the legs are attached. They kind of tell you, but they don't show you in the actual drawings. I printed off all of them. But see, you don't see the legs anywhere on there. And when you go to make the legs, it tells you that the floor sets on the smaller one. And then you got to mirror them. So right now I'm kind of laid them out, how they're going to look. I still got to bevel them. I think it's going to be easier to put them together and then bevel them. I'm gonna use glue, some brad nails. I think this is how it goes. <laughs> the way I'm reading them, 
You tell me in the comments, but the way I'm reading them, this is the way it goes. The picture on the front, like I said, doesn't show it this way. We'll see. I'm going to use some 5 8 screws. Kind of looks like a something from Star Wars. Star Wars, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, having to cut the circular saw again. Here I am cutting the roof ridges and gluing it up and clamping. All went pretty smooth. After that, I let it dry for a little while and then I put on a coat of outdoor stain. All in all, thought it went really well. If y'all have any comments or you've made a beehive before, I'd love to hear them. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank y'all.